assessing the damage at the Pfizer plant in Rocky Mount. This afternoon, the company's CEO, Dr. Albert Borla, is expected to visit the plant hit hard by the tornado on Wednesday afternoon. Thousands of jobs are on the line, and the supply chain issues could cause issues beyond just North Carolina. ABC 11's Tom George live now from the Pfizer site with the latest. Tom. Hey, good afternoon. We have been here all morning. We have seen those crews going in and out here at the Pfizer building, but still no workers. Uh, that's because everything is up in the air as they continue to assess the damage. And uh, when you look at the damage uh, from Chopper 11 from this video that we have right here, you can see why it's still up in the air right now as they assess everything. But uh, really, uh, they produce a lot of the uh, important uh, medicines and supplies that go to hospitals across the country. So that's what they're looking at right now. And as you mentioned, Pfizer CEO Albert Bourla is expected today. Once he gets a look, we should get a better idea of the situation. We should have more information on that end as they clean up. But in the meantime, as you said, all over Nash County, those cleanups are continuing. And I want to show you video uh, that we shot a little bit earlier just across the tree line from where we are right now is St. Stephen's Loving Day Care. There were 67 kids inside. Uh, they ducked for safety. Teachers had to rush in to help, and that includes the newborn room. Some of the teachers actually had to rush in and move those cribs to the center. The owner says they're lucky everybody's okay. Thank God my staff, my administrator, Tiffany Baker, and myself were able to get these kids to safety. The day were crying, the teachers were crying. Uh, we were nervous but God covered us, and we're here to tell it. Yeah, and that's what matters. Thankfully, uh, everybody is okay. You hear those chainsaws whirring, that, uh, whirring there. That was the uh, worst of the damage, luckily, was just that playground that was behind the building, but uh, that is the, uh, the best possible outcome that there could have been. The path of that uh, tornado uh, simply missed the building altogether. Uh, just minor damage uh, there. Everybody was okay, but uh, such an amazing story of survival here in Nash County, as we mentioned. Uh, everybody quickly stepping in to make sure that all the kids were okay. And the owner also tells me a lot of the parents of the children at that daycare center work at Pfizer, so they're obviously worried about their jobs as well, dealing with a lot right now. So she says she really wants to continue to be a source of stability for the community. Uh, they're going to uh, try and reopen again. Uh, their goal is on Monday once those cleanup crews have been through there. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Okay.